when he rode into the city on a donkey, people threw their cloaks and palm branches on the road before him. Today we commemorate a period of time when Christ was revealed as King of Kings, Lord of Lord, the true King. This occurred during the time of Passover in the city of Jerusalem. It was the beginning of a period of the crucifixion of our Lord. Hope is given to the people. Hope is taken away, at least so it seems. Though there are many accounts of this event expressed in our Bible and argued by theologians, what we do know is the simultaneous movement of a secular king was occurring at the same time with an even larger fanfare than Jesus had. I mention that because it is like our world and our culture today. Things simultaneously move at the same time. But what is most important is that the movement of God's presence ever so suddenly is moving among his people. And the healing force of hope, which it brings, moves along with it. It's important for us to remember that just days before his arrival in Jerusalem, he had healed many of their physical, emotional, and spiritual illnesses. And news of those miraculous events were spreading all over the land, causing much excitement and concern. So by the time he reached the period of the pilgrimage to Jerusalem for the Passover, he was widely known and in demand. We often focus our attention on the grandness of the event of Palm Sunday, meaning Christ's entrance on a donkey with palms afoot, and the coming of the arrest and crucifixion. But there is more to this day, so much more, it is the subtle message of eternal life, one that transcends the troubles of the day, one which continues to heal the sick and soothe the worried when mortal nature is no more. Tear down this temple, and in three days I'll raise it up. It's the Spirit of God. That Spirit of God which is holy and mighty, ever living, never dying, and always moving like a king triumphantly on a donkey upon branches. Moving in the midst of secular forces of the time. We are the children of that king. That is something to smile about. We are the children of that king. We inherit that spirit which heals and soothes and comforts. As we go through the passion of Christ, let us remember that glorious spirit which Christ carried not only to Jerusalem but to the cross a spirit that transcends darkness, a spirit which brings hope to the hopeless and brings clarity to the confused. That same spirit which we now embody and share with one another as Christians. 
So let us join with the followers of Christ on the road to Jerusalem so long ago and hold our palms high and wave our palms every day knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord. And we too shout, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, for a king has come to save us from death and gives eternal life. Amen.